What's up guys? How are you all doing and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how to build our very own cloud storage system using an external hard drive and a Raspberry Pi. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on MI Sperry. Okay, guys, so as the intro stated, we're going to be checking out Own Cloud. What this is, is it's basically our very own cloud, basically, software. So what we can do is we can add this to the Raspberry Pi and basically take a external hard drive of some sort and uh, turn it into our own cloud where we have media, uh, like it's a media vault. You could have pictures, any of that stuff. And we'll even check out the app. They actually make an app for it as well in the App Store. So we'll be checking all of that out here pretty soon. So the first thing we have to do is build our cloud software. So that's what we're going to be checking out today. Now, what we're going to do is I would highly, highly recommend checking out the network attached storage video that I did showing how to build your own. NAS uh, using uh, the basically software features that are inherent to Linux and the MDADM uh, software RAID. I highly recommend checking out that video. I'll have a link down in the description as well as at the end of this video, there'll be a link for it as well because you could attach this cloud software to your RAID volume and then that way all of your stuff, your media or whatever you're going to use your cloud for will be backed up on two different hard drives or whatever using a RAID 1 mirror. So that could be something that you'd want to add to. But this video is going to be just on how to set up the cloud software. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we need to download the actual uh, tarball that we're going to be using. Now you can do this by just downloading it. And I have the link right here. Links will all be down in the description. Um, and you can download the tarball uh, on your computer and then WinSCP it upload it to your Pi or however you want to do that. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go over here or you could just download it directly on the Pi. But since uh, my computer does it a little bit quicker, that's what we're going to do. So this link will be provided down below and uh, you scroll down here to the download tar portion where it says tarball and we'll just do that. We'll download that. We'll throw it on the desktop and that should download fairly quick it's not very big what this will be is all the uh information for like the index and stuff like that um uh that we'll be using so the the web hosting and whatnot so once we got that downloaded i'm going to go ahead and upload that so we're going to use our good old win scp i do need to update it uh but we're going to go ahead and take a new site here mine is at 192 and 68 1.93 we're going to use the Pi user. Yeah. And I'm just using all default stuff. Yes. I want to do the certificate. So here we are. So I'll just upload it to the home directory. I might as well. So let's grab our desktop. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I have to look over at my other screen here. Uh, let's grab, where was it at? Own cloud. Let's throw that over there and that will upload. There we go. So that's all we need. Good old win SCP for now there's going to be some things that we need to install. We need to install the Apache web server and things like that first. So let's go ahead and pull up our Raspberry Pi. This is the one that we will be using. So we're going to install quite a few pieces. I'll probably, I don't know, maybe down, down below or something like that. I'll probably put up the actual command, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and paste and put it all together. So we're going to do a sudo apt get now i've already done the app get update so you always want to do that to make sure you have updated repositories and updated packages and things like that so always do that first now i've already done that um so we're just going to do the install and we'll do the dash y so that way it just says yes to everything and now we got to type in everything so there's gonna be quite a bit there's apache 2 the mary a D B server, the lib Apache two mod PHP 7.0. You know what? This is going to take me a while to type in. I'm just going to throw it up here at the bottom and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip forward. Okay. Okay. And just like that, we just hit install. We hit enter and we should install. Now I did. Oh, I did spell the JSON wrong. Well, that's the part part with this. That's why I, I'll probably put this down in the description as well. So that way you can just cut and paste it. So that way we don't have any troubles. So here we go. So we're gonna let that install and I'll be right back once it's finished. 
Okay, so now that we got that all put together, we need to restart the server. So we're gonna do a sudo service Apache 2 restart. So that way it will load in all of our stuff because I don't know if, because if you notice, we've got a folder called own cloud in here now. We can go ahead and erase the tarball whenever we're finished, but we now have a folder called own cloud. So now we go back to our Apache and we just do a forward slash own cloud. It should take us to our own cloud. All right, so if all goes well, you should have your own cloud. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this. All right, so now we gotta set up some initial uh, settings on the own cloud. So the system is running. So we're gonna set up our username. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna say, I don't know, cloud admin, sure. And we'll give it an address or a, 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 a password. Now here's where we need to put in, where is our database gonna be stored? Now we would like to store our database on and it's where it's going to store all the pictures and everything where is it going to put all that so we're going to do our slash cloud right that's our folder that we created okay and if this if you've done the raid volume thing you put in wherever your your raid volume is mounted all right so that's what you will do so now we're going to go to database user now this is the user that we created in the previous uh stuff so it's going to be the db admin and then it's the password that we did so we did the sum password one two three right and then our database name uh you can name it whatever you want i'll call it my cloud db sure and then you can leave it for local host or if you want you can specify a port number to keep it you know secretive so you can do the colon five you know whatever five thousand something sure or something like that if you wanted to now i'm just going to leave it uh local host and then i'm just going to leave it there it'll be fine so then we hit finish setup and hopefully everything went well except i must have typed the password wrong oh I, it's because we didn't type it all caps db add add min and then we're going to do our our database password oh i got to turn the caps lock back off pat or some some pass two three Let's see if i did that right Oh, whoops. I got to put my password up here, too. All right. We'll get her figured out at some point. Here we go. Finish. And this may take a little bit. It'll sit and spin for a little while because it has to build the database. It has to uh, create all the different things and set up all the things. So we'll we'll come back after the setup finishes. But it should sit and spin like this for a little bit until it gets everything set up. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did cloud admin. Oh, my bad. I don't even remember what I do half the time, I tell you. All right, so let's go ahead and get logged in here. So here we go. All right, and then it, like it says, um, if you want, you can uh, save it. You can download their app. It's available for uh, the, yeah, the Windows desktop, the Google Play. You know, honestly, the desktop app. I don't even know what. Let's click on that. What is that? Oh, they just take you to the website. Okay. So guys, hit this the thumbs up button if you like this video. Um, hit the subscribe button. Uh, this was actually pretty fun to put together. I'd like to definitely see if um, I could put this together with the raid volume that we created in the last video and things like that to see what kind of robust system that we could get going. And you guys, let me know down in those comments too if you guys have put together uh, something and used this and if this video was helpful for you and getting it all running and how it was running because I really don't know how well it will run on a Raspberry Pi. I'll probably run it myself for a while, uh, maybe fail some drives and play with it to make sure that uh, it would be robust enough to use. Uh, but for right now, it seems pretty good, especially with the Raspberry Pi 3. That's what I'm running it on uh, with the image, Raspbian uh, stretch image is what I was running on it, uh, and it's the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus was what I was running on. And, and with that new upgraded processor, it works quite well. So in any case, I'll probably play with this a little longer, let it run here at my house. I'll probably set it up with different IP addresses and things like that, but uh, I'll probably reset it up and let it kind of roll for a little while and just see how this test system works. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up. I got all kinds of stuff, great ideas in the mix, lots of cool things to review. So definitely stay tuned to the channel hit that subscribe button if you haven't already oh and ring the bell that's on it because that is that is a key piece because otherwise you don't sometimes my videos won't even show up on your main page if i've listed new videos if you don't have that notification bell uh turned on so definitely check that out also guys check me out on patreon you could become a patron today for the site and you will get some exclusive content i am building all kinds of different uh 
uh, teaching and learning. We're doing uh, the C programming language right now. I'm teaching you how to program in C currently. The next ones will be, I'll be doing basic circuit principles. I'll be doing all kinds of uh, electronic videos, things like that, teaching you guys how to do all this stuff and the equations and the math behind it all. So if you guys check out that Patreon link down below, hit those buttons, become a, a patron today and get some really cool exclusive content just for you guys, as well as it'll enroll you in uh, different giveaways and stuff that I have planned for my patrons. So thank you guys. Thank you to my patrons that have already subscribed and we will see you next time.